Hello and welcome back to our equipment system series. In the last episode, we finally got round to adding meshes to our character based on our inventory selections. So now in this episode, we're going to fix a little bug and then we're going to go through and add up all those stats that we are collecting from our equipment and make them affect the player. So let's jump straight in. So to fix the bug that we found, uh, we want to go into our third person character go to this event here and the bug is only because I've got nothing plugged into number five here because I don't have feet as an option only hands so what I'm going to do here is just do this get and do an is valid node and use the question mark one here now give us the macro and you, know, you want to do this if this is valid and that should clear any error messages that we get up for this so just double check this okay and I hit escape and there the other messages are gone okay so now we can move on to actually adding our stats so on our player character we have this equip item uh, information now when we do this we are also getting hold of these information from our data table the stat damage and stat agility and stat armor we want to store this onto our character so I'm going to go to the variables here and go um, stat uh, we we'll do armor and make that a float and make another one for damage and another one for agility so we've got those three stat values coming off, coming off of this now obviously you can have whatever stats you like it doesn't really matter you can just do keep adding more here but most of the time they're going to be floats so once you've made your various stats here, we now need to make a function that will calculate all these stats together. Now the only way we can do this is by storing which items we actually do have equipped on the player. Now we can't just do it here because it becomes cumulative, meaning that if we keep adding items to our character, it will just keep adding stats together. So each time we do need to recalculate all of our stats every single time. So let's make a function that does that. We have a new function and call it calculate stats. And this we need to know what we've got equipped. Now the only way we can do that effectively is with a map. So we go to variables, new variable, and we'll call this one equipment map. And we, this needs to be a variable type of a name uh, and or ca sorry category equipment category. And change the little pill icon down here to the bottom one, which is map. And then the second column we want to be a name. So we have the category and we have the name. So on calculate stats, we're going to drag out equipment map and we want to get the keys. Now keys refer to the left hand column, so that's the category. So if I type in keys, I'll get each of the keys coming out of it. That'll give us an array, which I can then do a for each loop on. And on a for each loop, I can then use this to find the item. So from the equipment map, we do find and to find the category from the array element and that will get us the row name associated to that to that category so torso will give us the exact item we have now we know what item it is we need to read what data is uh, is from so we're going to go into a data table row and plug that in choose our data table then from the out row, we're going to break this out with a split. And now we have access to all of those stats we have here. Now, because this is a function with a for loop and it's going through each of the items, what we want to do is just add it to our armor, damage, and agility. So let's start with armor. You drag that out and do set and do armor and do get. And we're going to drag the armor value out and do plus float and plus armor. And we'll do that for each one. So we'll do set damage, set agility. If the get damage, get agility, and then we add them together. Yeah. And there. Okay, so that all plugs in 
like so. Now, at the moment, it's still cumulative, meaning the next time this function runs, it's just going to add all the values up together again. So at the very start of this function, we do need to clear those values. So we're going to drag out armor, do set, and do exactly the same for damage and agility. So they will set back down to zero. And then hit compile. So every time we equip item, we need to call this function. So we go into equipment item, and at the end of this set skeleton mesh, we're going to call that calculate stats. And that will recalculate all the stats for the player. Now it's just this map. How do we populate it? Well, at the very start of this, we are getting these values from our categories here. So on equip item, you're going to drag out equipment map, do get, and you're going to do simply an add. And you're going to plug in the category into here and row name into here. Now what add does, it means that it's going to uh, look and find if there is one that really exists with the matching key. If it doesn't find one matching key, it'll just add it onto the list. If it does find one matching key, it'll replace the item in there with the result from here. So that way we just get a fixed map size that just gets overridden all the time. Hit compile on that and then save. Um, okay, that's all looking good. And I think we can leave it like that. So uh, we do have those stats. And what I'm going to do is at the, to test this out on equipment graph here, when I do after calculate stats, I'm just going to get the armor value out here and print string the new armor value. It does mean I do have to make sure I've got armor value in my data table. So I'm going to go in here and I can see I've got armor on my jacket here. I've got armor on my white shirt. Uh, let's add some more on my jeans maybe. We've got six there. That looks quite good. I'll leave it like that actually. So we've got 10, five and six. 10 on the jacket, five on the shirt, and six on the jeans. Save, and let's go into our game here. And as I go into it, and let's associate, so the jacket, now I've got 10, go to jeans here, I've got 16, because it's the jacket and the shirt and the jeans. If I change my jacket out for the shirt, it goes down to 11. So it's calculating that armor value for me. Now I can use that for combat. I can then use it for uh, debuffs, buffs, attacking, defending, all sorts of things. And that'll work for all the stats now. Okay, excellent. So we've got pretty much a finished thing going on here. Uh, one thing we will do is have um, a couple of boxes down here. One saying the stats of the item that you're hovering over. And another one showing the actual stats of the player over here. So we'll do like a little window here and maybe a little window here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we'll do that in the next episode. So join us on the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can watch that part plus all the other parts before anyone else, uh, all from just $1 a month. Thank you so much for all my patrons and YouTube members. It really is, isn't possible without you guys. So thank you so much. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.